Hello, today we're going to do image transfer using Mod Podge. Only difference today than normal is instead of the image looking smooth and clean and crisp like this, it's going to have more of an antique or vintage look to it. It's going to have some patina on it. Kind of gives a like a lead paint uh, finish almost when it's done instead of it being nice and smooth and clean you're gonna have like little tiny cracks in the lettering and it's gonna be a little more cloudy and a little more hazy than that look you're gonna start out by doing it the same way as normal um, hopefully you've had a couple previous experiences doing image transfer so you'll pick up on the differences. So what I've done here is I've, I've chalk painted a piece of wood using like a gray um, chalk paint and I've printed my image transfer out onto a, a regular piece of paper. We're going to transfer using Mod Podge onto the wood but the only difference being instead of it turning out like this we want it to look more like this we're going to age the paper somewhat. And what I mean by that is we're going to just merely crumple it up really good. Now, careful not to tear it, but you'll want to crumple it up as much as you can. Do it again. What we're looking for is a crackle look. So you see all these tiny cracks in the lettering? That's the ink actually cracking and then the paint shines through or, or, or shows through wherever those cracks are. And then we'll actually smooth it all out and we'll hit the paper with a little bit of sandpaper to roughen it up even just a little bit more to give it that look. And you'll have a little more image loss in this case like, like you do there and there and there. And that's the look we're going for. So. It's going to look obviously different than it than it normally does. So, nice and ruffled like that. Now, we're going to take some sandpaper and hit it with a little bit of sandpaper. See, we're losing some of the image already. Be careful not to rip the paper though. Okay. Alright, so if you can see really close, there's lots of cracking in the lettering. So now we bring the uh, chalk painted piece of wood back. And now we've got our our paper that we're going to transfer from. Let's see if we can smooth out a little bit more. And if you want, you could take and splash, like dry brush a little bit of... Um, paint on it like a little bit of dove gray paint or or some brown or something like that and it would add to the depth of the piece and make it look even even more old so we're going to take our normal matte mod podge right there the original we're going to put some on the paper like this nice smooth layer and we're going to do the same thing to the wood Nice smooth layer on there. Oh, and then uh, let's flip this over onto the wood. Actually, kind of shrinks up almost from wrinkling it so much. You see the, the texture, the depth of the paper being all wrinkled. It's a little harder to line things up because things get a little wonky when you when you do that. You also got to be careful when you squeegee this out now because it's real easy to catch an edge and tear the paper. So now you would set this off to the side to dry, uh, preferably 12 to 24 hours before you peel it. However, if you have it, a blow dryer or an iron and you can create some kind of heat here, you can peel this piece within mm, an hour or two. Now what I've done is I've already gone ahead and done another piece earlier today so that we can peel it and kind of give you an idea what it's going to look like. Get it wet, pool the water, 
Probably went a little crazy. A little too much water. <laughs> See the image shining through. Just peel the paper back. So, you know, we've got image loss already. You can see it's right through the little wood even in this case. Just rub the paper. Start from the middle and work your way out. If you start from the edge and work your way in, you'll have more image loss. Now you can see the tiny cracks in all the lettering, just like this piece. Now in this one, when I painted it, I hit the edges with a little bit of a dry brush and some black paint just to add depth and dimension. Give it a different look. Grab a paper towel. Hit it with the paper towel. Knock off some of that paper. And uh, that's the first peel. So this looks much, much different than a standard typical image transfer. And so if you want your piece to have some age to it, uh, give this technique a try and see how you like it. And uh, check back with me and uh, send me some images of, uh, of your projects if you have a chance. And uh, subscribe to this video if you want to see more like this. Thanks.